morning. Half decent night's kip. It is. It's just chilled out a little bit now, but it's been pacing it down. It's all just a bit of a nightmare getting out of bed when you're uh, when it's raining. And I was just thinking then to myself. Uh, sometimes I get signals and I'll post a little photo on Instagram and I was looking at the photos I was like actually look it looks idyllic like I'm just having a a real relaxed time of my life you do but you don't see the blisters and the ticks and the midges and the rain and the wind and the you know all the other stuff you just don't see it do you that's Instagram I guess but yeah the thought of putting like wet socks on and getting out there in wet is just oh, brutal. It's a long day today, so I might just get my head down and just get it done, get the miles done. Right, let's get up and get on with it. half of it for one of my meals because I'm bonking uh, and then half of it I'm going to have a cup of coffee as well and I'm going to push on it's been one of the hardest days so far hey, the hardest so far I'm not doing much filming because it's just been pissing it down with rain but I've put the miles in today and I'm going to have this I'm going to have something to eat and a coffee the cloud is still pretty bleak up there, but it's not, it's stopped raining. So I'm gonna push on, maybe see if I could even do a 25 mile day today. Yeah, I've not been doing much of this today because it's too much rain and my head had gone. I had to just put my head down and get on with it. Uh, but I've made good the time and I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do a long, I'm just gonna keep going till it gets dark. Uh, I don't know what that means for tomorrow, it, it just means the next couple of days are easier days if I put a shift in today and then I can see the finish line, I reckon I'm going to do it, I reckon I'm going to get there, unless I fall over or something mad, I think I can handle the pain of my feet, it hurts but I can handle it, I can handle my knee, but Kicking my ass today is our Scotland. <laughs> Real talk. But yeah, I'm bonking a little bit. A bit of food. I'm gonna have a strong coffee. Uh, yeah, and then, just, and then bat on, man. Bat on. Hopefully, it rain holds off for a little bit now. It's dried up. See ya. Vegetable hot pot. Yes, please. This is going to give me a second wind, a third wind. I'm not going to do two sections in one day, but if I can do a section and a half, especially these two, these two are big sections as well. Then I'm, I'm made up then. Did I tell you the um, the mini but the mini bus isn't running from the lighthouse? So I've got when I get once I get to the end, of, there's still an 11 mile hike to the to the boat. <laughs> Not feeling talking to you lot, I'm afraid. Today's kicked my ass. You can see why people tap out. <laughs> I'll say that for now. And I'll be honest with you. The thought of tapping out today was so tempting. So tempting, mate. Just the thought of like, oh, let's just tap out. <laughs> Can't do it. 
you know, my old footsie was hurting a little bit. And weather was terrible. And uh, I fell over. <laughs> Twice. And both were just, there was no dignity in it really. I made a little noise. Uh, I don't even think it was a little noise, I think it was more of a wail. Like that. And you go down, you man down, right? Do you know what? I shouldn't really... I told myself I won't just come on here just to complain because negativity, it spreads. And was that when I was, uh, when I served in the, um, yeah, when I was in the Power Rangers, we would, it was zero negativity because it spreads throughout the ranks. Uh, even if things are shit, you just stiff up a lip, it's good, we're rocking, let's go. Because it, you know, negativity breeds negativity. And uh, which is one of the reasons why I just haven't been speaking to the camera because I didn't want to be just log on and be like, oh, this hurts, that hurts, I can't do it, I'm struggling. Uh, anyway, but here I go, I'm doing it now. When you have these on, you have, you have these this bit like wrapped around your wrist like that, like that, and uh, <laughs> so, I've dropped it. Bending down's hard work. So I just oh, I sort of slipped and went down, and my <laughs> these these were stuck in these were stuck in ground, and. I sort of went down like that, but my arms were still like half in knees and just looked like some mad scarecrow like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that blub lip was going. <laughs> Killed me, mate. Killed me. And so I, when I was going over the, these uh, gnarly bits, I just ditched the the hoops and then so second fall was just a it was a slip and then <laughs> I just sort of gave up and like rolled a little bit because with bag on and stuff you just it is what it is I just like there feeling like an absolute idiot look around is anyone looking no because there's no one for miles so yeah today has been a kick in the dick I've probably done over 20 miles. I feel it in leg. I would love to go in the woods there, but... Wait. You, you, for how wild and wonderful the Highlands of Scotland is, it, there's not a great deal of woodland camps to be had because it's a lot of it's plantation, so everything's just crammed so close together and it's so dank in there. It's so wet. Ah. Right, I need to, I need to uh, um, deploy my scarecrow support units because my knee hurts when I'm going downhill, so there. I'll give you one last look. Cute, mate. Oh, tell you what, being on tarmac is savage. Yeah, actually, do you remember when I was doing all that optimistic waving to people? That's gone, hasn't it? That's gone out of my system. Is hello? No, no. I oh, should I maybe chain me up? Nah. I'll let you see him go past, so. See what you make of it, look. Two of them on a bike. Yeah, wave, mate. Yes! <laughs> I did it and it did cheer me up! There you go. Ah, it's the little things, in it. Just the soles of my feet just feel like they're gonna... Well, I don't know. Who, who cares, anyway? I feel fine. And do you know what? You're gonna be feeling a bit like that. I've been... Since Ullapool, I've just put in some serious days, man. They're on the 20 mile mark every day. Over 20 miles today, easy. So this will be the penultimate night. And then my last night will be on the beach. And then I'm just gonna go for it, man. Go for it. 
because what am I saving like you know I started off and I had that second day where I was a bit you know I, I stopped about two or three o'clock because I thought oh, I don't want to burn myself out this early on but now what am I preserving myself for now now leave it all out here empty tank just leave it all out here man there's nothing there is no point in doing short days now there's no point in preserving myself or whatever it's just have it man let's have it and then we can start to dare to dream dare to look forward to stuff look forward to seeing loved ones look forward to hot running water look forward to different styles of food my own bed Oh, working even. I like to be doing work and be busy with that sort of stuff. Woo! All of it, man. Is that a stag? Of course it's a stag. Where do you think you are? It's a stag with a salmon jumping over its head. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm just chatting to you lot for a little bit because... Road walking is just cack. Right, let's get let's utilize my scarecrows. There's a cross, like a stone cross on that little island. Just <laughs> I was looking for somewhere all down that road and a uh, there's a few okay places, but I kept saying, ah, oh, well, keep going, I'll find somewhere better. <laughs> and now, I'm all the way over here, and roads of the other side of the river. I came down there, round past this lodge, and now I'm in getting into the zone where it's like, bog. Look how wet it is. All oh, bog, so I don't know what's going to happen. Got me head torch, which I've not used the whole trip, actually. Might have to do a bit of night hiking if it comes to it, but <laughs> I gotta stop soon anyway because my feet are gonna explode. <sighs> keep going, keep going, keep going. I got a bit of signal over there, so just saying on my stories, like, because I'm losing it, man. When you start doing dad gags, I was just telling everyone about the time I was. Uh, in a reggae band in the like mid I played triangle for a reggae band back in the mid 2000s or summer and uh, I'm just saying like I had to leave after a couple of weeks it was just one thing after another eh? uh, uh, and that's the sort of thing you do when you're you know you're at your wits end you talk to sheep you interact with dead animals verbally not physically and you do the odd dad gag which I know I'm not normally one for me jokes but there's a joke for you <laughs> I say yeah my another joke is this not being able to find the campsite my feet are a joke ah, but there's no punchline just yet let's get somewhere let's just be positive come on stop grumbling ah what about there what about there? Oh, look, just sodden. Our feet just got stopped. Absolutely knackered. Today was a long day, the longest of all the days. I'm finishing strong. I still feel pretty strong, you know. It nearly broke me at times, but especially this morning. But we're finishing strong and we're having some. Posh pork and beans. I don't know how you can make beans and pork posh. Just what? Just open it up and put a monocle on it or something. Buy it a horse. I don't know. Let's give it a give it a go, man. <laughs> so hungry. That's good, that.
that's the nicest one of these fire pots. And that's it, I've only got one left. One meal left. One. I've got one night after tonight, and I've got one meal left. I'm probably not going to have it, because tomorrow, near the end of the day, we go past a, a Lund, like a, I go past a shop, and I believe a fish and chip shop, so if that's the case, you can stick your camping meal. So I'll be going all in at shop. On sweets. I've got my merino wool leggings and me down pants and oh, PS de resistance. My darn tough socks. I used my other ones to hike in today. I had two pairs of darn tufts that I was gonna rotate and just wear at camp. Um and today I just thought oh no I couldn't face putting my freezing cold wet uh, merino sock liners on, just couldn't face it. I'm gonna get some well earned rest, mate. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now. Morning glampers, I'm all packed up. Tent's just gotta go away. It's quarter to seven, getting an early one. <laughs> oh man, them first few steps are just brutal. I did about 26 miles yesterday. I didn't did a full marathon yesterday. Oh, so feet are going to take some working up a bit. That's nice. Clouds just covering the tops of the mountains there. Not a bad little setup. Everywhere was just so boggy. And then as I was coming along the track, bang. Just this whatever. Where they've been just maybe using it to turn around in vehicles or whatever it is, I'm grateful of it. He's mad that I've carried this all the way <laughs> from home. No, I got it in Fort William actually. I got it in Fort William because I forgot mine. I had one at home and I forgot to pack it. And then luckily in Fort William, in Morrison's in Fort Williams, they had one exactly the faith I needed. Bit dented. Freezing cold. Maybe get to the lighthouse about 10 or 11 o'clock. <laughs> and then I'm going to crack it open. And then I've got to walk the 11 miles to the ferry. Fueled on one can of faith. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's not raining. It's, that's a bonus. This morning I picked a couple of whopping ticks off me. I had one on my hip that was just itching me all night. And I didn't. I kept itching it thinking, that's not, can't be a tick, that. It'll be where my pack's been rubbing. And because I, I couldn't see, but I used my little hand mirror, and lo and behold, tick flare just suckling on my blood. I've, I've de-ticked to the best of my knowledge. My gaiters bust again. I don't have any more spare bands for my gaiter, but we're so near. Okay, so... The track peels off to the right, but you can see that lock down there in the distance. I want to be on the side of that lock, so it's going to be off road. <laughs> and that's the beauty of it, look. So don't get caught out. You think, oh, well, I'll just keep following this path round, but you've got to just go, ah, oh, oh, oh. Off road across this boggy, pathless ah, zone. Let's feet wet already. At least I've got a visual on where I need to be, so you know I don't need to set a bearing or look at the map necessarily. I just that's where I need to be, and as much as just picking the best route you can to get there. Not a breath of wind and no rain which makes a difference to yesterday which is a joy as well every day it's not raining is a good day it's like a computer game mate we got to jump from one thing to another otherwise that's the full length of my stick and look it's still going still going I, I got, well 
I'll swallow the whole thing, mate. And that's up to my that's up to my chest. And it was still going, so you don't, you know. <laughs> it's serious stuff like. Coupled with the fact that there is no path. This is where I'm going, just hugging the side of this all the way around this lock. So hopefully join onto a track at some point or uh, something a bit more a bit more worn in hey up little fishy moved there like on the map where it's just little red dots means hey up there my laddie where there's just little red dots it means there is no you know, it's, there's no path, but I guess the more, as time goes on, and the more people that do it, them little red dots will eventually become little red dashes. Um, you know, as the popularity of these sort of trails grows, and I'm sure, you know, me making these videos is, con is going to contribute uh, to a few of them little red dots becoming red dashes and it, you know it's all good but it is a bit of a <clears throat> I mean it's still hard <laughs> even if all you know even if there wasn't any pathless sections but I, I imagine that in maybe yeah a few years time, ten years time, I don't think I reckon they'll you'll be able to tell where you're going just by following other people's foot tracks. Look at this look. Should we draw some on here? Duh, and not what you think. There you go. Seen some lovely fish jumping in the lock. Um, but this is when I say when I say it gets to be a path, this is it. <laughs> Not much of a path, and it is pretty boggy and slippy, so it's frustratingly slow going. I've come through here. The other lock is on that side, and you come through, and it's just the same again, same again. And that path, oh, it's the first time I've got proper angry, uh, like it's slipping over and just couldn't get a rhythm going there. Uh, uh, I was cursing it. Curse you, Cape Raft Trail. Oh, and you get over there and it's just repeating it. Repeat a crouch. Oh, right, just hit the road. Out. Glad. Glad to be seeing the back of that particular stretch. <laughs> Nearly ended me, mate. Nearly ended me. Not quite, though. Not quite. Still going strong. It's cop shop look. I'm gonna go and hand me sent in. Sorry, you're... sorry, officer. There's been a murder. I've just murdered that last bit of trail. There's the boat working there. I'm guessing they're mussels, mussel farms. Yeah. Speaking of mussel farms, mate, you what? Yeah, mate, you want to be? get your boat up here, mate? Get that on your net. <laughs> Getting cocky, Anna. Getting cocky because I'm near a shop where I can get some sweets. <laughs> Four miles of this foot busting gear, and we're there. aimlessly meandering and I looked to my left I was like that's a bit <laughs> that's a big lock it's the big blue look at size of it I mean some of these locks I've seen I've been like wow that's pretty big impressive but <laughs> there she is man the big blue you can't deny it 
beautiful ah beautiful there's a little boat coming into the harbour as well stunning mate I wonder what visibility is like onto the track to Sandwood Bay there has been a look at air man tell you what <laughs> I said I'll wait till I get back from holiday and this is a holiday by the way I've booked this off I'm self-employed so I've take a, I'll take a hit to do this because it's what I love uh, anyway I said to myself I'll wait until I've done this before I get my hair cut all through Covid the last lockdown <laughs> I thought we'll keep it wild until I get back to civilization and I'll get my barnet snipped it's alright lads Where's your mum? Where's your mum gone, lads? Hey? Where's your mummy? You're alright. I think that's the lighthouse. <laughs> oh, dauntingly far. For today, anyway. I might have to cut, come at it with, uh, with a fresh pair of noggin bollocks tomorrow. No way I'm making it to the lighthouse today. No way, mate. I'm in too much pain. The odd feet are roonies. They're hurting me. A little bit too much fatigued. And it's killing what's killing me as well is the thought of So there is no boat and the, well there's no minibuses running from the lighthouse, so contemplating having to just get to the lighthouse and then come back <laughs> all over this all over this track and all over the bog that I'm going to do tomorrow which is a fair old whack I won't have the that single minded goal of getting to the lighthouse will have dissipated <laughs> tomorrow once I get there it's done in it once I get there to that lighthouse mate I just want to I just literally want to, like, as stiff as a board, like I've been sparked just like that, just fall, and I want someone to just put a bed underneath me, and I'll land in that bed, and then I just want to be carried around for the next week, fed grapes and stuff like that, chocolate, that's all, get, <laughs> quick photo at Lighthouse, yeah, I've done it, and then, boom, collapse, duvet over my head, <laughs> like they do to a corpse where they sort of just push that they pull blanket up over her head all solemnly I want that to be done but I want it to be done with a duvet there he is, leave him there and I will rest in peace, thank you very much look at this man now I know the sea is just over there and down to the left but I'm absolutely zonked and this looks just, let me show you, get down on this. I've got to go in here, and I? Give myself a, a boost and just have a wash and just rest my feet in the cold water. Water, I've got there, and I? It's taken 13 days. The grimness is having to put these wet, wet kegs on from the other day when I was in river. Oh, these have just become the swimming kegs. Absolutely beautiful. Ah. 
Tell you what, mate, if there was enough room here to pitch a tent, uh, I'd stay. There's the sea. See the sea. <laughs> and you won't be able to see this, mate. I don't know why I'm even bothering. Top of my thing there, right on that bit of land, is the lighthouse. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. There's no abandoned building there, huge lock, there's the sea, oh man. Delightful. Sea looks a bit choppy to go in, so I'm glad I went for a swim in that lock. I was just speaking to a couple, and they're saying um, they said it took them five hours, and it's all there's no path. It's pretty boggy, all that similar stuff. But they were coming from the lighthouse this way, and it was their first day, so maybe they don't know. They don't know how how mad it can get. I'm maybe a bit more battle hardy. I'll find a place. Maybe amongst the dunes or against this up well, plateau on this the side of this cliff bit here. But look at it man, it's oh nearly squat. It's stunning. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah man. Fruity, juicy and fresh. I have kept the faith for so long. This is the last. Maybe I should drink it here. Because it's my last night. This is my last night on the Cape Wrath Trail. So maybe I will have it. Because if I chin it at the lighthouse, it might mean, might make it a bit harder to get back. Oh, and what a glorious place to do such a thing. I reckon here. Look at that for a view, man. Got my bread bags on. I'm just gonna go down to this. I'll definitely be filtering this, like, this is like, it's come down from tops and it. It's come through everything. Because I know that I've not drank enough water today. I'm starting to feel a little bit well, queasy. Definitely dehydrated, so. We'll get these two liters and smash them down tonight. Bad. Right, so it's been a couple of days. Um, I'm on the my last night now. Um, I genuinely can hardly remember what I've been doing these last couple of days. It's all a big blur. Oh man, what the hell? Where did I go from? All the way down here. I don't know. So, I camped down here somewhere and then went out here, hit this road, it to the. It was a nightmare. I'm gonna be honest, an absolute nightmare from start to finish. It was just so rainy, so just horrible. <laughs> um, all the way up here, this is a nightmare. Coming around here, all di all difficult, and uh, up onto nine. Uh, where I'm at, um, and this is where it joins onto the other path. This is all so boggy, so boggy. The terrain is just slow, hard going. I mean, it is stunning. Don't get me wrong. It is, it is, it is beautiful. All it's all been beautiful, but when it's hard, and when Ed's not in it, it's hard. 
uh, around this lock and then I, instead of going into here I was like right let's make a move for it I went up here this was just it's all track but um so steep man oh, it was a killer got up here and along we came down here through this plantation it's all been sort of cut down most of it and then hit the dreaded road and I thought right because by the time I was on road I'd done a bit of road work <laughs> where'd I go here come around here by the time I got about here I was done for I was like right well I thought I'd have a look along here and it was just one of them like oh, I'll keep going keep going I'll find somewhere couldn't really find anywhere crossed over here to this lodge and then on onward and then I started to panic I was like oh no I'm in this back in this like bog zone and I'm not going to get anywhere to camp but there was a little bit where the vehicles obviously turn around here and so I got in there at night and that's that one done at the risk of letting all the bugs in I've just opened I'm keeping door open and I've opened that side as well because it's just too nice it's too glorious man look at that I'm just being spoilt with my last night my last night on the Cape Wrath Trail I was so lucky because it's really exposed here so if this was if the weather decided to turn you'd get your ass handed to you I think this is an amazing way to go out on it as well this lovely sunset lovely evening and I know tomorrow's going to be hard and it will be you know it's been a goal for a good few years to do this trail and I'll feel good when I get to that lighthouse despite having I'm not even thinking about what I've got to do after the lighthouse that's not even gonna I'm gonna get to that lighthouse I'm gonna chin that <laughs> I'm gonna chin that northern monk can regardless <laughs> I look forward to it because you know I, did, I didn't I wasn't drinking leading up to you know leading up to coming here and I didn't drink and I even my, when uh, my boy came up in his car and scared shit out of me and he had a can of ale I, I didn't take it I've had chances to have drinks but just haven't taken them I'm gonna wait Earn your beer, earn your beverage. I feel like this would be a good place to leave it, just to like leave it here, wouldn't it? This would, be, this is like the perfect end. Could I leave it here, or would I always rem would I kick myself for not going to the lighthouse? Because I suppose from here, walking back, like there's no taxi or anything from here. I'd have to walk back into town, and that's that's like four hours. So it's the same sort of distance, but... Nah, what am I on about? You've got to go to the lighthouse, haven't you? <laughs> what am I on about? Jesus. Getting all caught up because I'm resting my feet uh, and it's like nice in this... Nice looking at that. I'm like, oh, let's just end it here. It's the perfect end to a... To a mad, mad hike. Tough. Tough as old boots. Tough hike, but beautiful. Brutiful is what I've called it. Brutal and beautiful. Brute. The Cape Wrath Trail. Brutiful. Brutiful birders. <laughs> anyway, we'll have a look at this sunset. If it if it starts to if it kicks off when it gets to her, the to the horizon, I'll I'll let you have a little look. Here we go then. So, right, what am I on? Map, Map of Shango, Map U Laetitia, Map, Map U McConaughey, Map Morgan, Map E Gilmore, Mapton, Map, 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 uh, Map Damon. Right, woke up here. 
let's get a wriggle on. I'm glad I camped there because there wasn't that many camp spots and there was one here but there's someone on there so I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad anyway. Ah, just Plowed on, plowed on. This was like such a nightmare. It's all off-road, boggy, like honestly if you go up to where you're going up to your neck in some of these bogs, so deep. And then along the side of here was just, it was frustrating me, couldn't get a good pace, it was just stop and start, kept slipping and not good on ankles. Um, to here, there was a river crossing here, that was a, quite a big one actually, and imagine that, you know, that gets pretty pretty hectic <laughs> uh, maybe even unpassable at times so that was fun did that cracked on ah dreaded road got to the dreaded road what to be past that police station ah just road work road work road work went to this old london stores i tell you what if you get a chance do stop in there it's an old shop he's just got bits and pieces but such a lovely old bloke um, it was really nice. I tried to give him a tip. I was like, oh, I don't need change, mate. You can have it. And he's like, right, we'll take another one of them chocolate bars. It was a thoroughly nice odd bloke in there. So if you get the chance to stop in, please, please do. Uh, and I kept going. Where did I go from here? I went down here for some reason. I went down there and round. My map said to go that way, but I just went this way around the, the road. And um, I mean, my legs, my feet were just killing me by now because it was just too much road work just whatever this road was it's a single track road really it's not it's not very busy it's only people coming to to the end of here like so not very busy but a road nonetheless nice views looking backwards I'll give it that to the car park and then over the track Anyway, as we go, it was a lovely day today and um, real nice scenery. Da -da -da. Round here, which lock did I go in? I think, yeah, this one here. I went for a little swim in here just to soothe my bones and just to soothe my body and freshen up a little bit. Over here, and then once you get to here, it's such a lovely view to see the sea. It was absolutely stunning with this lock as well. Um, all through here just lovely it's a lovely change of scenery um, yeah I really enjoyed it along the beach and I'm on I came past there up here I'm on this little nab where the tip of my knife is I think there that's where I am and tomorrow it's all dots look so there's no there's no path it's just and I met a couple on the way back I got chatting to them and they said it had taken them f like five hours to do so we're just gonna have to dig deep all along this moorland and then you do hit a track there for the little that last little bit and then you're at the finish <sighs> now then once I'm at the finish I'm gonna try and see if I can blag someone to just give us a lift if not I'll have to just walk it I'll, I'm tempted to eat I'll either walk back <clears throat> all the way back to wherever um, till I can get a lift or I'll walk this track here which is 11 miles this black track and that takes me to um, to there and then there's a ferret there's a boat that takes you across here and I could get picked up here so there is options but that's the main goal for tomorrow ah. right if you want to join me for the finale um, you can click the subscribe button and the bell, you'll get notified when I upload it. If you want, that is, you don't have to obvs. Um, yeah, and thanks for sticking with me if you've watched them all, and thanks for watching this one. I shall see you, I'll see you soon. I'll leave you with this. Au revoir.